Come back to the channel. In this lesson, I'll use this example to explain how to find the sum of series of natural numbers. I'll start by explaining how to find the sum of series of natural numbers when they are raised to the powers of 1, 2, and 3. After which, I'll now use this example to explain how to find the sum of series of natural numbers. That said, let's get into class. From our lessons on series, we will know that we want to find the nth term, let's say tn, of a particular number, we say it is a plus n minus 1 into d, where a is the first term and d is the difference between each term, and n is the number of 10. Same thing applies when we are looking for some of these n terms. We say it is equal to n all over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Close the bracket. Still, a is still our first term, and d is the difference. Now, if I have a series of natural numbers, probably I have my set of n to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and this continues this way. We say that if you look at this closely, the first term a is 1. And the difference between each of these terms, if you look at them, is 1. Between 2 and 3 is 1. Between 3 and 4 is 1. 4 and 5 is 1. So that here I've said my a is equals to 1 and my d is equals to 1. So that I can now interpret my s of n to be the same thing as, that is the summation of all of these to be the same thing as a as n over 2 into 2 into a a is 1 plus n minus 1 into d, d again is 1. I close my bracket so that s of n is equal to n over 2 into 2 plus n minus 1. This is the same thing as n over 2 into 2 minus 1, that's 1 plus n. So I can easily write my s of n to be the same thing as as n all over 2 into n plus 1. Now well, this is what all you simply write it as n plus 1 into n everything over 2. Whichever way you, you write it, it's just the same thing. Now let's apply the same formula. If s of n is equal to s of 10, remember that s of n we have said is equal to n into n plus 1 over 2. This should be the same thing as 10 into 10 plus 1 over 2. That will be the same thing as 10 into 11. 11, not 9. 11 over 2. 2 here is 1. 2 here is 5. That will be equals to 55. Now let's see it practically. S of 10 is the same thing as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10. If you sum everything together, you get 55. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3, that's 6, plus 4, that's 10, plus 5, that's 15, plus 6, that's 21, plus 7, that's 28, plus 8, 28 plus 8, that's 36. 36 now, plus 9, I have 36 plus 9, that's 45. 45. 45 plus 10 now, that's 55. So you see that our formula is actually correct. So that means we can conclude that if I have S of n, which is the same thing as the sum of r is equals to r is equals to 1 for r to n. We can conclude that is to be given as n into n plus 1 over 2. Now, the same thing happens if my s of n is equals to n into sum of r is equals to 1, where we have r squared. We don't have r, but we have r squared. So this is the same thing as say 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared up until n squared plus plus Yes, plus. Now the formula for this is given as n into n plus.
plus 1 into plus 2 all over 6. Now, similarly, similarly, if I have s of n to be equals to r raised to power 3, this is from r is equals to 1 to r is equals to n. My formula to solve this, what we use to solve this is given as n into n plus 1. Here is over 2 all all squared. Now, let's take an example to apply them. Now, example says you should find the summation of this expression. The first thing is to break the expression into the terms of n raised to power 3, n. Now, this is the same thing as saying I have 2, summation of 4, n is equal to 1. Here is n plus summation of n raised to power 3. 4 and here is n is equal to 1. Now when I have the summation of, remember that when I have the summation of r, r is equal to 1 to n, this is the same thing as n into n plus 1 over 2. And when I have the summation of r raised to power 3, r is equal to 1 to n, this is the same thing as n into n plus 1 over 2 all squared all squared now so that I cannot begin to apply each of these so that my summation of 4 is equals to 1 into 2n plus n raised to power 3 will become the first one I'll be picking is this this be 2 into that will be 2 now into n into n plus 1. My n here is 4. My n here is 4. That will be 4 into 4 plus 1 over plus. I will now pick for n raised to power 3. That will be n again is, is 4 into 4 plus 1 over 2 all raised to power 2. So this is equals to 2 now into 4 into 5 over 2 plus 4 into 5 again over 2 all, all squared. So that this is the same thing as 2 here is 1, 2 here is 1. 4 times 5, that's 20, plus, here I have 2 here is 1, 2 here is what? Is 2. 2 times 5, that's 10. But we have 3 raised to power 2 here, so that's 10 raised to power 2, that's 100. So that's 20 plus 100, that's 120. Will this help you understand how to apply these formulas to find series of natural numbers? Thank you for staying with us and see you in another class.